Hello all, just a quick review on the day 2 of India vs Australia WTC final. So yesterday we talked about how India have to dominate that first couple of session and get Australia all out under 500 and the ballers did a fantastic job, right? They came back really strong. Australia just scored, uh, Australia scored 469. What a brilliant centuries by uh, Travis Head and Steven Smith. So India actually did that balling job of which they didn't do in the day one, right? They had clear plan. They had clear plan against uh, Travis Head to get get him out to the bouncer and that worked out. So uh, Indian ballers did their job because uh, I thought they would they would have uh, run the match away with 500 558, but they didn't let that happen. 469, it's a huge score, but uh, that uh, dominance was not there is, uh, yesterday. So that's what uh, I had called out that ballers have to do that job, and they did perfectly. And it was on to the batters to put their hands up and show show their mark. And unfortunately, it was not the case. Uh, top order again, just uh, blown away. So uh, two uh, two freak dismissals, two uh, easy dismissals, I would say, right? Uh, Shuman Gill and Cheteshwar Puraja, Pujara leaving the ball off the length and getting bold. So and Virat Kohli getting unfortunate uh, length ball, it just bounced a bit more th- than he expected. So in this pitch, it's bound to happen as the days goes on. Looks like a lot more cracks on the wicket uh, compared to the day one, right? So it's going to be a tougher and tougher. So I feel Australia are edging closer to the most of the 90% of the game now because already India are 151 for 5. Jadaya looked really good, 48 of how he scored 48 of 51 balls. So and if you look at the top order score, it's 15, 13, 14, 14. So a fancy numbers, but not fancy in terms of Indian fans. So Really disappointing uh, batting performance. They got a good start, 30 without loss. That's when um, Rojama got out. That was a good delivery again from Pat Cummings. So, and uh, what I liked about Pat Cummings' captaincy was he was rotating the ballers continuously. Right? He never gave a fast ball a spell of five to six over at a stretch. He will bowl two overs. Mitchell Stark he will bowl two overs. Uh, two overs of Scott Ball, uh, ball and two overs of himself. Two overs of Chris Cameron Green. So that's really, really clever actually from Pat Cummings. That allows the batter not to settle down. They can't they can't line up a baller, right? And because constantly changing and all are different kind of ballers. Like uh, like Mitchell Stark left arm over the wicket, he can come round the wicket. Pat Cummings is more of a hit the deck baller, squad ball and line and length baller. And Cameron Green again, high, tall, hit the deck, bouncy baller. So Really, a uh, really clever captaincy. That's what I liked about uh, Pat Cummings' captaincy yesterday. He was con- constantly rotating the ballers three overs for each each, just like how they do in T20 kind. So he, he doesn't, he did not want it the his fastballs to get tired. And he used again Nathan Lyon also cleverly when uh, Ravindra Jadeja was there. Left he was going well again. That's a huge wicket right end of the day's play. 48. He was looking really good. So. That's why I feel Indians should get in some more left-handers into the 11. I know if there are quality players, then only you can pick in the 11 and in the squad. But I feel uh, because see, left-handers make a huge difference. That it doesn't allow ballers to settle down because India's top order, everyone are right-handers. So it's it's easier for a baller to settle down in one line and length. So as soon as Jadeja came in, see he scored freely because ballers were not able to settle. Because 48 of 51 balls, it's almost 85 90 strike rate, right? So, really good batting from Jadeja. He, he's in tremendous form with the bat, looks really assured. Everything was going right until unless he spoke that uh, away delivery from Nathan Lyon should have left it, but can't do much about that. So, I feel India should focus more, uh, more about the combinations, right? They have to get in more left handers, they have to develop youngsters, they have to plan accordingly in the future because. It makes it uh, harder for the ballers to settle down. So, a huge task cut out on day 3. Uh, I hope India should aim to score at least 300, 350. It's very, very difficult because still 200 runs away and not much batting left. Only Shadul Thakur and uh, India's tail are, is not that great with Mohamed Siraj, Umesh Shadav and Mohamed Shami. So, a huge partnership ahead and huge, huge innings for uh, Bharat here if he scores a uh, well, like well deserved 50 or 60, he can see his plays right for a couple of seasons until Rishabh Pant is back. 
सो ह्यूज ह्यूज नॉक आई हेड फॉर कॉन्सा पर अजिंक्य रहा लुक सॉलिड अंटिल दैट गुड अगेन एंड इवन बाउंस हिट हिज फिंगर सो नॉट रिली श्योर हाउ इज गोन अ पैन आउट टूडे सो ग्रेट पार्टनरशिप एटलीस्ट दैट अर्ली कपल ऑफ ओवर्स इफ दे डील दे कैन आई थिंक मार्च ऑन विद अ गुड पार्टनरशिप आई गेस टूडे बिकॉज ऑस्ट्रेलिया अगेन दे लुक फ्रेश again they will come and come in with plan i think they will look to get them all out in the first session or uh, within two sessions and get that massive lead i don't think they will uh, enforce the fall on they will bat again and they will make sure uh, it's a huge target for uh, india to chase and which is literally not chaseable so as they call out third day the moving day uh, and it's certainly going to move we'll get to know uh, um, uh, like to which side the match will favor i think it as of now it most look, uh, looks like it's australia but if india grind out some runs maybe they can aim towards more of a draw because looks like it's far fetched now because already 150 for 5 still long way to go and uh, suddenly looks they won't get near the total so obviously they have to look to spend more time on the crease now so uh, spend as much as time possible score uh, score of the bad balls and try to spend uh, if they play if they play out today that will be a huge huge bonus for india because then two days are left possibly have to score quickly and then give a target to uh, india within one day so it's a crucial first session again uh, yesterday india got a uh, three or four wickets in the first session so australia uh, will like to do the same but india is on the other hand they have to focus and they have to make sure they don't get give, give that wicket away easily so two stars cut out for ajinkya rahane and konsa bharat but uh, i feel it's australia's game to lose now because they are in dominating position and that's the reason i had called out india that uh, yesterday india's first innings will be really really crucial because all uh, bowlers had done the job to get them all out be, below 500 and it was india batters job to get near the total and uh, as of now till now they have failed to do that I would love Ajin Kehrane and Red come back 100 water innings it will be WTC final and what do you guys think where did India go wrong or what was the mistake of Indian batters and do you think India can salvage this result because looks like it's in Australia's favor at the moment and what do you guys think about uh, Jadeja's innings and India India's bowlers fight back and do you think India will bat the whole day today so please put in your comment section let's discuss in the comments so i'm looking forward for a fight especially from ajinkya rahane and i'm looking forward a, forward to a good contest but obviously australia upper hand so looking forward to an exciting contest day 3 the moving day let's see what's going to happen see you on the other side guys